Hello everyone, welcome to episode 9 of Game Dev Tycoon. Wow, we are pretty close to the big 1-0. Alright. We return after the release of Funny Guys. Ooh, 683,000 sales. Alright, Fred Jackson still working away. Ethan Christensen. I'll send these guys on new vacations, why not? Search with fridge. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Maybe a bit of training on innovation challenge. What does that do? It's probably research. Ah, uh, we could use more research points, anyways. Sure, why not? than I did in the last training exercises. Vayne has confirmed the discontinuation of the Dreamcast. Vayne's president said that while many companies will still deliver games for the platform, the company will no longer produce new units in the future. Okay, sorry about my mouse. It's, I need a new mouse pad. Vayne of Vayne's worldwide are disappointed as a beloved part of gaming console history is coming to an end. That is a shame. Maybe that'll bring in some money. Eight. What's an eight? Wow. Well, pirate casual. Dreamcast. Company action. Minimum score of five. Play it safe. Or we can go minimum score of seven. game yet? Probably, but let's try it anyways. Werewolf Adventure. Uh, Werewolf Action. Uh, PC's good. Return. Let's make our own medium game. Uh, that's a lot of money. Never mind. <laughs> we are really running low. Okay. to one of my favorite shows. If you get it. Very good. Okay, yeah, 3D graphics. Uh, stories and quest. Don't need a branching story. Linear story. Hmm. That looks good to me. This guy's scratching his head already. Hmm. I need dialogues, really. Do a bit of marketing. We don't know much money, so we're just gonna make scenes. Ah, they both scratch their heads. That's wonderful. Okay. Yeah, I guess this is good. Waste system will be taken off the market in two months. E make them to the red. Okay. Just in time, fellas. Well in 
new topics at the moment. Nice. New combo. Great combo. Great combo. Alright. Trend match. Oh, sweet. Even Harvey. Now we have to pay more money for him. Wonderful. This is going to be a good one. Should get us out of the hole. Oh, yeah, that's doing good. The Game Sphere. <laughs> with which it will try to complete with Bonies, Play System 2, and Micronoft's strong alternative, the M Box. The curiously shaped console has similar hardware specifications as other consoles. The Game Sphere is Nintendo's first console to have an optical disk drive instead of cartridges. However, instead of using full-size CDs and DVDs like its competitors, the console features a mini DVD drive. Yeah, what is up with that? I always found those very strange. I love my GameCube. Oh, such a good system. Well, I mean, it wasn't 64, but, you know. Pretty good. Your I mean, Super Smash Brothers Melee, Animal Crossing, a whole bunch of The Legend of Zelda games. Uh, what to do now? More contract work? Sure. Yikes. Let's do the easy ones. Play system is no longer supported. Game Sphere has been released. Alright. Uh. Let's try this one, see how it goes. Probably won't get it, but... Uh, we don't have the money. Oh, two of them are scratching their head, come on. A million in sales, not bad. Okay. New game it is. Ah, uh, looks like we can do another medium. Might as well if we did the other one. Uh, should we get a new topic first? No, we're all right. Let's just make a fantasy RPG. PC. Oh, let's make this 2D. Let's get started. Alright. Powers and Quest. Engine. Gameplay. Oops, Powers and Quest a bit.
Nintendo is working on a new game console. Most of the rumors state that it is not a successor to the disappointing Game Sphere, but instead a new console in the mobile market. Nintendo's gameling has been leading the mobile market thanks to numerous updates and a large list of very popular games. But the hardware is aging quickly, and many players wonder what will be next. Research information. 35,000? No thanks. We would if we could, but we have no money. We're not gonna do marketing this time, we're just not in good enough shape. <laughs> okay. Graphics takes both. Everyone's at a hundred. Wonderful. I think this is our first non-published medium game. Unless I'm completely forgetting something. Yes, we're about to go bankrupt. Oh god. We are not doing great. Good management. Achievements are available. Ooh, lovely. First views for Terran Entrails came in. Come on, Mouse. Not good, eh? Damn. Looks like they're a little conflicted on this one. Better research. Well, at least medium games sell a lot better than small games. Oh, uh, we got... Yeah, companions, sure. <laughs> oh, these guys have to go on vacation again, eh? Jeez. Hurry up. Oh, Terran Entrails doing pretty good. Just need to make more successful games. Alright. Now well, let's develop a sequel. Our first sequel. Yeah, sure, the Queen Mary, why not? Ah, come on. Make this a medium game. King Mary. Pixie again. Okay. Come on, Mose. Sorry about that, folks. What was it? It was 3D, right? Nice. 3 million. Well, this one doesn't need... Sure, 
Er, throw a steering wheel in there. GS. It features two screens, one of them touch-sensitive and promises unique gameplay. While Nevento has been struggling to regain their market lead ever since the TES-64, they still have a very strong position on the mobile market. The Nevento GS promises to strengthen the position and aims to breathe life into a stagnating mobile market. The console will be in stores next month. Alright. Ooh, Loney announced that they are launching a new mobile gaming console. Portable Play System, or PPS for short. Media analysts speculate that this announcement is meant to distract users from Nintendo's launch of the Nintendo GS. While the Nintendo GS utilizes an innovative dual screen, the PPS instead makes use of a single screen and will focus on giving developers access to much more powerful hardware. Mm. Yes, been released. All right. Uh, Fridge of War. Don't know. Damn. Let's go all the way down there. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna let him get overworked. That's all right. will be taken off the market in two months. Okay. That's enough for sequels. Let's do another small game. Didn't we? Oh yeah, mystery. Oh, come on. Mystery. Oh, it's gotta be adventure, right? Hmm. Of course, 
Forsaken Kingdom. Ooh, that sounds good. I'd buy, I'd buy that game. Make us 2D. 2D. Fun. 2D mysteries. Make it point and click or something. Mystery adventure. Needs more story and quests. Branching story. Oh, that's good right there. Game, so we don't need as many points. But we got a ton more. Wow, that really shows the efficiency of training. Dream Bass is no longer supported. Yikes. Alright, we've successfully gotten out of debt twice. Not too shabby. Topic, new combo. Gotta be great going sweet. Alright. Game changer. Come on, one ten. Yes. Do a bit of research. How uh, many games it is? And new topic. Surgery. Another memorable game, the art style in Forsaken Kingdom blends so well with the general feeling of the game. A perfect match. Simply one of the best games I've played. Nice. What else is there to research? Surround sound? You know what? Let's just start a new engine. We got the money. 3 graphics v2. Let's take off that one. Soundtrack? Sure. Advanced cutscenes? Sure. Video playback? You, you know it. Mouse? Joystick? Achievements? Easter eggs? Mini games? AI companions? Wow, that's an expensive one. Yeesh. May not be ready for this, actually. Okay, hopefully this doesn't kill us. Fridges. Unpack. P3. Ugh, another proposition, for God's sakes. We don't have the money, man! Ugh, no. We, that didn't even do anything last time we did. PPS has been released. Alright. Wow. Forsaken Kingdom sold 2 million sales. Wow. Almost all of what we made on all the game link games we did. Pretty good. Pretty good.
Oh, he's gonna just go on vacation again. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Okay. Nice. A ton of research points, too. Okay, we'll send you on vacation since we have the money. Oh, we don't really have the money, but you know what? On vacation you go. Okay, that'll do it for this time, folks. I hope you enjoyed episode 9. Next episode is episode 10, and we will do something very special. So get ready for that. Alright, see you later. Bye.